Who invented that? Which, which, which YouTuber decided to go <laughs> every time? Okay. It's not Peter McKinnon because he, he it, copied keeping this bit. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Yeah, my that's right. Sorry. He's speaking on camera again. Sorry. I know it's a bad habit. Do not adjust your sets. It is actually fog, which had cleared up a few minutes ago and now it's back again. Hello and welcome to the Busy Man's Guide with me, Mr. Paul Adams, very, very, very zoomed in. And that's Steve. And you might recognize this place because last year on the day of the Royal Wedding, we were here. And if you can't remember, just have a look at this. Good morning, we are here in Kingston Blount, I think it is. Uh, I'm here with Steve and Ellie today. And uh, if you look at Steve's channel, you'll see that Steve is trying to learn the uh, young person's vernacular. He's not doing a very good job. What are you saying? Wagwan. That's what he keeps saying. <laughs> What was that? The wag one. Wag one. I'm not saying it. Wagon wheel. <laughs> I'm laughing because what? it must be something to do with this place because I, now I'm laughing because Steve was like, what? But I was referring to the video that I just showed. Yeah. yeah. So we are back here at Coley's Wood in Kingston Blount and Aston Rowan and all that. And uh, we, we turned up to see this fog and we've been waiting to get some forest shots when there's there's fog so we can see that come through the trees which i might actually do in a second um yeah but we are here because it is time to redeem ourselves steve's already done it yes steve's already done it we are here to entice the kites to come and have a photo taken so last time it didn't quite work this time it's not so hot and I think it will so let's go into the woods are you ready to go into the woods Steve yeah I am. say yes Paul yes Paul no don't do that it sounds really bad okay so we're gonna go in the woods now so off we go very very quiet because on the way to see the, the the kites we think we've seen a family of pheasants they could be grouse might even be wild turkeys but you had wild turkey last night didn't you they're probably not there but we're going to try and take some photos of those so let's go so we heard them, we went after them and they disappeared. Sounds like they've split up. Because there's some noise over there, and some noise over there, and some squirrel taking the mickey from one of the trees above. But I think we might have missed them. Although I can hear them somewhere. I can hear the baby. Are you sure you can't hear a kite? Might. Hopefully a kite. Yeah, it might be a kite. Maybe we'll get it on the way back. So, I know it's dark, and I know it's a funny angle, but I've got nowhere to put it, because I've forgotten my tripod, it's in the car. But I've just been chasing some pheasants, and they're hanging around this wooded area now. I can hear them all around me and the kites are above me as well. Steve's got the meat, so I can't do anything with that. But I'm going to try and get some photos before I get back up. But uh, this is quite an interesting day so far. So 
So, we haven't quite got to the memorial yet because we had an idea to set up my camera on my phone, on the Joby, on Steve's Joby, because I didn't use Jobies, but today I'm liking your Joby. And we've set it up along one of the rows of the, the crop. So hopefully, we'll see an inquisitive uh, peasant, pheasant, <laughs> inquisitive peasant, inquisitive pheasant or wild turkey, whatever they are, and hopefully they'll get close to the camera, so. We'll give it about five minutes and see what happens, because he's down there and he's watching us. So, another error. My phone decided it wasn't going to record, so I put it in another position where we see them coming in and out of the field. So let's see if we can get them. So uh, that does bring us to the end of the day. Uh, a little bit disappointing that we didn't get the kites coming down. So that's, as I say, strike two for me. Um, and those little wild turkeys or pheasants or grouse, whatever the hell they were, um, were giving us the run around quite Actually, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as we're looking at one point, they come from the point behind or we turn to the another point and they come behind us. So we couldn't quite see what we wanted to see. When you see, review isn't? your footage, you'll find a decent bit on your phone. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that does bring us to the end of this episode of The Busy Man's Guide. That's Steve Richmond, I'm Mr. Paul Adams. Remember to stay sharp, stay focused, and stay busy. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. I don't know why I do that. It should be over there, really. Like that. I don't know, it's there somewhere. And then, yeah, and do you, then slide do you across. Think, yeah, I might just go. Like, can you flip? It looks better with the hand. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah.